Peace. Today is Sunday, October 28th, making today's math. Wisdom build destroy, all being born in knowledge, cipher, all being born in knowledge. That's right. Wisdom is your wise words. Build destroy is to build on a positive and destroy the negative. Knowledge is the foundation of all things in existence. Cipher is a circle consisting of 360 degrees. Knowledge 120, wisdom 120, and understanding 120. And we bring it all back to the knowledge as all things do. Peace. 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 Welcome back. To the United Mean God cast. I'm Lord Jamal. I'm Digger Digger. That's my man Rage, the fact checker over there. Yep. On the boards, we got my man Alex. What's going on? Behind the camera, we got director, editor, extraordinaire Harold in the house. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we back for another one. Digger out here looking real smellable. From, <laughs> from what the comments are saying. It says she looking more smellable with each episode. Actually, the, or one of the homies, the, the white dude that was here earlier that you mistook for Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, you trying to say I say all white people look I'm like? I'm just saying you saw a white man <laughs> with a beard and you thought it was Vlad after sitting next to the man okay, for, but, but, I don't know okay, uh, how many hours. But in all honesty to me. All white people look like. No, 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 no. <laughs> In all, in all fairness, excuse uh -huh, me, uh -huh. to me, right. he got the same voice as Vlad. Come on. Come on. He it was he got, a, he, look, he got Vlad voice. It was similar. It's similar. But it's like, hey, Rodrigo, how you doing? I'm like, oh, shit, what up? You, you sitting there with us? I, and I just brushed by and didn't even, re first of all, I didn't realize he's like seven feet taller than Vlad. See, you got to notice. That's what I'm saying. You got to notice your white boy nuances. <laughs> okay? You can't just look at them as a mass like they do to us a lot of times. <laughs> you got to look at the I nuances. I heard the voice. I saw the beard. I was, and was just like, hey, Vlad. Like, are you, are you able to, like, I think I'm pretty good at, like, being able to look at certain Asian people and saying, okay, he looks Japanese. He looks you put me on spot. Chinese. I'm, no, I'm <laughs> just saying, like, there's nuances in how people look. No, I, I like, got you. Like, yeah, amongst Africans, different parts, he looks there West was, African. Was, he looks there Indian, was like you know a, There was, like, a horrible chant that we used to say as, like, kids in the hood, like, Chinese, Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That? You remember that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I used to like the slanty eyes though. I used to be like, man. Shout out to all of our Asian viewers, but yeah, we we were some we were some uh terrible little black kids in the hood. No, we <laughs> was just I think we were just terrible little these... Americans. Okay? Is that what it is? Yes, because yes. America is racist. It wasn't just Asian jokes. I remember Polish jokes when I was young like about You're, being you know so what? stupid. You're so like, right. You know what I mean? Like America is just harsh on all people that it feels we are just, outside of itself. We just have these stigmas of every other race and of people and every other nationality. But what's so crazy is that black people have these stigmas about our own selves. Yeah, you do. see, like, I don't feel like Asian people, you know, unless they're a real comedian, are telling, like, derogatory Asian jokes to other Asians. You see what I'm saying? Probably not. But we'll do that. <laughs> as far as black people, we'll tell like a stereotypical joke to another black person. Where like, I don't think a Polish person will be like, how many, you know, well, well, remember how well, many Polish people does it take to put in a light bulb? Like, you well, know. Well, remember we said this. We said we, we you know, I, I seriously doubt if uh, if Polish people are sitting around, hey, Polak, or Asian people are sitting around, exactly. hey, Chink, but, exactly. but we're sitting around hey, all nigga. day. nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. No, they're actually <laughs> starting to call each, call each other in the N-word. They're about to say Well, they, this, is, this is true. This that's is actually true. because, they, they, you know, they're hearing it so much. It, it, it seems to, you know, everybody seems to think. Like, I see, I've agreement. seen white boys, there's not a black nigga in sight. And they, yo, my nigga. Like, and yo, this nigga, and they're talking about straight white boys. Like, yeah. there, there's white niggas, there's Chinese niggas now. Like, there's there's a rapper, yeah. there's a there's a rapper named Ch uh, Chigga. Uh, no, Chigga, and it, it's short. It's it's for a, Chinese nigga. Chinese nigga. Yep. That's Rich Chigga, that's his name. Rich Chigga. Rich 
Chigga. Rich Chigga. How many years do you think before the taboo was gone with the N-word issue and everybody can be a N-word? Um, it's never going to be gone. It's a, <laughs> like, it's, it's just a, it's a, it's a bad word forever. You know, we I think we go through these phases where we want to take the power back and own it. And it's ours and we can use it however we want. Then we go through another phase where like, no, nobody can say it. We shouldn't say it. And... And then we say who can say it and who can't say 30 it. 30 so years. It's always, you know. 30 years. So, it's a common word. So, you know, this this all, I feel, leads us to, you know, because we other races look at a lot of other races very stereotypically. But right now, it seems like white people in America, the way they're looking at black people is just extra- suspect and the the whole yo i'm gonna call the police on you mm, talk about it phenomenon that's going on right now is fucking crazy and and here's what really makes it crazy is because we're living in a climate where Police interaction with black people often ends up in death. Mm -hmm. And you have white people that know this, watch the news every day, and their first now recourse is to call the police because subconsciously they want you dead. They're hoping that this fucking confrontation will lead to your death because I've seen the police kill these niggas on TV <laughs> left and right. Shit, maybe I can get rid of another one right now. Let me get on the phone. So here we got corner star Caroline, barbecue Betty, or Betty. The Becky, barbecue Becky, barbecue Becky, whatever the fuck her Permit name is. Permit Patty. Permit. <laughs> <laughs> Permit Patty was the one that called the cop on the little girl. Uh, uh, called the cops on the little girl for selling water. On now the, it's on funny. The I was watching the Trevor Noah shit today, a clip of it, and he was commenting how, like, the corner star Caroline, like somebody named her on the spot. Like the guy that was filming the video was like, yeah. "Oh shit, uh, corner store Caroline." Like, like. We motherfuckers just coming up names for names with these white people like immediately like first of all growing up wasn't white people some telling ass motherfuckers like wasn't they some telling ass yeah like not letting the rules go and all that no no i gotta tell on you that's against the rule shut the f like this ain't hurting you. Like, just shut the fuck. No, I got to tell. Like, you little I feel like even telling as ass a, motherfucker. I feel like even as adults, did anybody did anybody go through, like, a boosting phase? Like, a still? Oh, oh I, I, Look, I had to see how I had to uh What do you think the polo that? fetish started? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Shout out to the low line. I, I want to be the only one, so I had shout to politely. Shout out Macy's, Nourishelle Mall, Macy's. I had to politely put that out there, but you ever notice, like, if you... If you see like another, uh, observe like another black person see, looking at you, just like you know, y'all, y'all, y'all see each other like whatever. But it would be the uh, actual white patron in the store that you, right, be, right. you'd be just scared of them, as the, but like this motherfucker gonna tell. <laughs> now, okay, so let, let let's talk about Cornerstone Caroline because this broad really got on my nerves. Yeah, no, like, this like, this oh, first of all, this one was kind of serious. First of this all, this could have ended bad. Like. First of all, okay, shout out to the white girls out there that actually do have some ass. But you non-ass having, thinking somebody's touching your ass, like, get the fuck out of here. Like, like, why would you think somebody even want to touch your ass? She's like, projecting. You don't even look like the type of motherfucker that anybody want to fuck with. You should be happy if somebody want to touch your fucking She's flat, projecting. She your flat ass. Like the fuck out of here. Like, did you hear that in the video? Somebody said that in the video. You ain't even got no ass. Who's calling the cop? Who the hell is going to touch my ass? We got a new one. Who the hell is going to touch my ass? Call the store Carolyn. Yo, look at that. Hold on. She called the police. Come on. Nobody want to touch your flat ass. <laughs> like one of the passive buyers actually says, says that. If you Shout can, out to but, that dude, man. But here's what pissed me off. 
when the bitch going to say, because the guy she was mad that she was getting filmed, the bitch going to say at the end, uh, such as I put that on world star. Whoa. Man. Now, if that's not some passive aggressive racist shit to say, like, like without being fully racist, like these motherfuckers know what they do. I don't think that was passive aggressive. I think that, that was that was very um But Jay, you know what's missing from your argument now? I'm surprised oh, you have shit. <laughs> <laughs> was that a sign? Somewhere in the world, <laughs> like <this>. somewhere, <laughs> drop the universal. Peace. Somewhere in the world, <laughs> uh-uh. yeah, somebody is like sticking meditated. pins in your voodoo yeah, doll, bro. They meditated. <laughs> Fuck your magic. <laughs> Fuck your white magic. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think's missing right now. What you, you didn't talk about? What's Emmett that? Till. Oh. Look at the, Come on, that, the, the, that's the, the first thing I the, thought about. Well, that's no, the first thing that a lot of people yeah. thought about. No, like, it wasn't missing. It's first of all, that broad is still alive right. and still needs to come to justice. If it Bill still, Cosby still can, needs can, to be can, can be brought to charges at 80-something years old, so can this fucking white woman for causing the the death of someone. Not Not just some, you know... I mean, rape is horrible, but uh, there's degrees to everything, and I think we can agree death is worse than rape. Yes? I'm well, not some people that. will see yeah, well, <laughs> Some people will say, no, it's I'm not. Like, it's look, not. I'm, I'm looking around at the camera like, <laughs> Listen, sorry, me, ladies. To, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can survive a rape. Exactly. I, I like having death. life, you I can still go on. I you can still go on. Yeah. So I'm just saying... There's degrees to everything. Like there's, you know, there's stealing, there's lying, there's killing. There's, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's degrees to bet they're all bad, but there's degrees, and that's yeah. all I'm saying. Right. So anyway, so now she's called. You know, that could have led to. Who knows what this could have led to? Real bad, right? Like, I mean, like I said, bad. and salute that boy's mother for you know keeping her composure as best she could. Because back in the days, what the mob that went after Emmett Till. It was just like a white militia. Well, now that militia is the police. Certainly. You see what I'm saying? Certainly. So so she falsely accused this young eight-year-old? Nine. Nine-year-old child of, of touching her flat ass and then tried to call her equivalent of the militia to, at best, at the least... Scare the shit out of this little kid. Yeah, he's terrified. He's, right, he's booing. But at worst, possibly have him killed, because, like I said, <clears throat> interaction with the police very often ends for especially young it, black males. It could have been a, a domino effect of things. But I, I mean, put aside the put aside the the kid and his mom. Like, imagine. You know, some young homies from the neighborhood. You know, like the guy that's in the background. You ain't even got no ass. Like, a right. man, like now you have other spectators problem, yeah. that are pos that could possibly, yeah. you know, get into it with the police. And now it's it's really. But Jay, you, you know, think there's legal recourse? Something. Like, I mean, just like misuse of the police, isn't there? Like, you know, when a well, domestic thing happens there, and you falsely yeah. call the police there, on there your. There is such thing as uh, you know, getting charged for for uh, creating false police reports but in her in her instance you know that's what she really thought like i i think it come it becomes a charge if like okay she purposely I really, lied about yeah it. like me and him really went and did a jux but i'm gonna create some police report to try to make it seem like i was over here right, and then, you right. know like you just straight lying about the but situation. a nine-year-old how many nine-year-olds grope but it and also goes police? to show yeah and that's what i'm saying how many nine-year-olds grope well when you're a black savage, like these white people believe that we are, when you are hypersexualized uh, in the minds of the people where they feel like, shit, that's, it, it got to start somewhere. Right. You understand what I'm saying? This black man, he's so hypersexualized, like they're still so scared that the black man wants to rape the white woman and all this type of shit. Like newsflash, your white bitches want the black uh, man. I was, I was about to Don't say, nobody want to rape I, your white bitches. I was about to anything. say, no, no, they scared. Niggas that. is beating these white bitches off of them. 
Okay? They, they scared Becky wanted the pudding pop. Okay? <laughs> that's what that's um, about. And they scared that they taking away this goddamn white race, you know, one Kardashian at a time. Because shout out to the Kardashians. Y'all are helping to, like, <laughs> destroy the white race. Those recessive genes. One Kardashian baby at a time. Every fucking Kardashian baby that comes out is one less white child in this world. Mm. I'm just saying. Mm. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it just goes to show, like, the how they see us in their minds that, okay, what's the other one where my man was babysitting some little young little white kids even though that's a little weird <laughs> oh the the it was he was babysitting two white kids and um First somebody all, called the cops they thought it was kidnapping or yo something. i might would have thought it was kidnapping Wait, too what, was he only a huh was he a nanny or, was he like a nanny or he's yeah he's a babysitter <laughs> but it's like how many black men do you see babysitting kids not that i'm saying she should have I'm just saying it's that a might little... Have been, that might have been, honey, watch I my would, kids while I run to the market and get some... Uh, he, well, they, these didn't look like mixed kids. These look like... No, 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 no. I'm, I don't, I don't, well, maybe not honey as in like we're we're together, but like my, the homie, yo, I'm, I'm going to go run and get the backwoods real quick. I'm going to, you know... Why backwoods? He, I'm just saying... He's like, why is she taking so damn long? Let I'm not going to knock somebody for how they make a living and all of that. I just think... <laughs> The brother was babysitting. I think it's a little weird that, you know, he went on Craigslist and offered himself up as a babysitter for little white children. Um, I wouldn't have called the police on him. I mean, maybe because he just, first of all, maybe he didn't realize that they were white until he actually showed up in as person, black, <laughs> but just needed the job. As black it's people, economics at the end of the day, as black right. people, we know damn well we don't kidnap no fucking kids. Okay, so these can't be kidnap kids. Like you got black niggas. That's that's you know. So are you are you trying to are you, are you trying to subscribe to the stereotype that brothers ain't even <laughs> t- watching their own kids? Some of them. Well, some of them are. That's racist. But, but no 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 no. What I'm saying is, you got niggas that's definitely got their own kids, but they ain't gonna take care of another niggas kid. You got that type of attitude, even though, nah, I do know a few dudes that did take care of oh, another man's child. you'd be surprised child. what niggas do for the pee. Oh, and I was going to say, I do know a few dudes that did, but you got people that do take on that posture, like, I ain't taking care. So all I'm saying is, if you're not going to do that, why the fuck you going to kidnap a little white kid yeah. and ride around with him at the it's, mall? It's safe to say... It's highly, two of them uh, act that. It's highly, not just one. <laughs> not just one. You I'm gonna kidnap. Too. I'm gonna kidnap two little white kids. Like, come it, on, get the sa- fuck out. It's of here. safe to say it's statistically uh, improbable, <laughs> highly improbable that um, right. yeah, the FBI bro- don't a brother would have like a that. brother would have uh, kidnapped these the FBI two children. would say that. Like, but you know. yep, that happened. Is there a nickname for that situation? For what? <laughs> Who would he be? Babysitting, <laughs> babysitting bra man? Like what? 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 <laughs> Who? Who would he be? <laughs> babysitting bra man. I kind of ba- like that. Babysitting broski. No, BBC babysitter, but that's a little. Oh man! Nice. And then finally, you saw the white broad that fucking followed my man into his fucking building demanded to know where he lived can i see your key fob do you have a key fob like this and swore that this man couldn't live in whatever fucking building they lived in i don't know if it's some luxury shit but she swore that this motherfucker didn't live there because he was black and followed this motherfucker Mm -hmm. to his door now, I didn't see you that. Didn't see that one. I didn't see that one, but there, oh, there, some there was, blonde little there some, annoying. Bitch. There was something else. Uh, It'd be a lot of these. I'm about to bitches. say that's a common story because they just had some college kids that uh, lived, I guess, lived in a similar building like that, and uh, they used their she she was to try to let them in the building or or something to the effect of did she did she call the cops? Here's the issue. I, I'm not well, sure, like, but well, all white people are police. I know it sounds crazy. But that's the concept. Mm. They're deputized. You know what mm. I mean? And they know yeah. that. They know that inherently. You see something, say something. I see a nigga. Rest my case. I'm going to say something. Right. Yeah. I mean, originally when the police was created, it was like that. They'll put a star on a white boy chest in the minute. Bam! Deputized. Go around them some niggas. <laughs> well, listen. Um, We about to go to break. Uh... 
I want to shout out the people that's on our live right now. Hey. We're we trying out some a new technology that we're going to be using more in the future to do more in depth. You know, you can ask us questions. We're going to do little building sessions and stuff like that in the future, um, even outside of here. But we want to uh, test out this technology today. We got a few people in the room right now. Shout out Queen Craft. Shout out to Sean Carter, uh, Kadeem Aquil. Uh, we're probably going to get to y'all questions Sean and stuff. Sean Carter's in the house? In the next Deshaun Carter. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? Not, not ah, Deshaun. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, welcome to the Godcast, ho. <laughs> but listen, if you'd like to donate to the Godcast, go to cash.me slash dollar sign. You're not a mean. Uh, you're not a mean. I'm uh, patreon.com slash you're not a mean or you're not a mean.com slash support. Uh, if you'd like any of this marvelous merchandise that you see here on the table go to www.hoodgy.com now before we go i'm gonna publish a question it says peace everybody your lord jamar do you think you could put some of those jerseys for sale on hoodgy that are like the one you wore and don't let it go to your head video hmm. what jersey did i wear in that i was wearing some polo shit from what i remember the 1967 shit. I had a dead Prez shirt on. What Did you have a baseball shirt too? Oh, it said Nubian or some shit yeah. on it, right? Yeah, shut up. Hmm. Something like that. I might have to recreate that because that's just some shit I found <clears throat> somewhere and I was like, oh, this is dope. Mm. Let's just say Nubian. I'm copping it. <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't my own shit. But um, yeah, we could make some shit like that. Don't worry. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take a little break. And uh, we'll be back. You know what I mean, Godcast. Peace. It's the absence of all confusion. United we stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together is the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T-shirts. Snapbacks. Available at hoodgee.com. Get yours today. Okay, peace. peace. Welcome back to the United Mean Godcast. Lord Jamal. I'm Digga Digga. Fact Checker Rage. Yep. Alex on the board. Yep. My man Harold in the house. Uh, when we left, we were just talking about fucking white people calling the police on black people. Mm -hmm. Snitches. Like, yeah. Snitches, Snitches get stitches. Snitches, sons of bitches. Snitches get stitches. Uh, so anyway, wh what else is going on in the news right now? Um, I mean, the Kanye White House visit. No, <laughs> 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 uh, no, no. I ain't gonna do it. Listen. Real quick. I mean, it's almost unavoidable. Wait, yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan to keep us talking. Okay. We can't not talk about this motherfucker losing his mind in a White House press conference. It's like... See, there's so much shit, man. Like, like so many points that people bring up. I got people coming to me saying, could this, could this motherfucker be doing a spook that sat by the door? Mm. Could this motherfucker actually? Be... I like that movie too. Mm -hmm. Come on, love that movie. That was the shit. Yeah, most um, important movie. Could he be saying everything that he knows these white people want to hear? Wear the hats that he knows. We keep saying he trolling. We keep saying he trolling. I don't know. Listen, what if I, he's I, not? I, I, this is this is all I'm but saying. But it's like, but what if he's not? If it works, he's a genius. If this not, is he's what mentally I'm, ill. This is what somebody was saying. <laughs> is like, he like, trolling? They were like, yo, like, like, if this is his, if this is some sort of master plan, then of course he can't tell people what he's doing. And you he's understand? A fucking genius. And he's and he is a genius. But he and Trump, yeah, like you know, Chicago schools really could use some more. I've, uh, I'm I'm leaning towards. Manchurian candidate? He's not a genius. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm leaning towards he's bugging the fuck out. He's convoluted. Um, 
MK Ultra. He's having like you know when they say bipolar, you have manic episodes and then depressed. Mm -hmm. We're witnessing these manic episodes. Like when you feel like that your self importance is just so fucking high and that you're gonna change the world and all like that's what he believes like with the shit that he's saying like like mm -hmm. and it's crazy it's like okay let's just say he is a musical genius right does that make you a genius in all areas of life not at all like think about he's the shit when it comes to that sampling that's think it think about how many hip-hop masterminds there are like i was talking to hakeem the other day right and mm -hmm. he brought this up channel live hakeem channel live what hakeem. up hak hak grizzle grizzolini as i like to call him mm -hmm. so anyway hak grizzolini i'm talking to him and he said okay for instance someone like old dirty bastard we love uh, some old dirty bastard in his music but do we really, you know, want to take like foreign policy advice from old dirty bastard? Yes, I am the world's greatest entertainer. I know Prize and the Fuji's do things for the community. What is going to be your thing for the community? Nothing. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. When he was here, you right. know, rest in peace to the God. Right. But I'm just saying like, like. And, and 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 in his own way, old dirty was a genius. The way the way he put records together, like nobody could do it like like old dirty. Like that was genius for what he did. But does that make most you a genius of, in all most of artists realms? are creative geniuses? Like Dr. Dre makes hell of a beats. Do I think that he has the answer to, you know, poverty in this country? Actually the cl no. clinical definition of genius Usually, in order to have genius, it takes from other things in your life. Like they say, Einstein couldn't tell you where he left his keys or when he had he couldn't lunch. Tell, well, the, yeah, he couldn't tie his shoe. Yeah, that like you know, in other words, like it kind of. Well, makes I believe it's debatable that Einstein even was a genius. But anyway, go ahead. Well, just you know, they say that when you like have too many overtures on one thing, it takes away from other you know, regular things that you need in life to go on, you know? That's understandable. Like, blind people can extra hear, extra, yeah, you know, yeah, do that. their sense of smell and touch are, are heightened. Mm -hmm. Think about, and if it's funny because we all do this, like, think about when you're in the car or something mm -hmm. and the radio's playing, but then you need to concentrate. You turn you the turn music it down. down. Yeah. Yes. Why? As soon as you get lost, you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right. Because <laughs> I got, I got you to... know that yep. overloading your senses, mm -hmm. if you turn one down, just like it, it enhances the other senses. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So hang on. Let me chill with these senses. I need to yeah. enhance the other ones right now. Right. So let me turn this down. But you don't even realize why you're doing that. But that's actually a scientific thing yeah. when you do it. That's so, why so you're we, doing it. Are we banning Kanye from the studio now so he can lend some senses back to the real world? Um, Is that what we're doing? Block no, studio? no, <laughs> no. We need to block him out of the real world and lock him in the studio. Mm. Well, we also need to block him out of... But it's our psyche. I was about we to say it's to block him nice. out of even taking him right. in the least bit serious. Like um, T Pain said, "Listen, he's news because we make him news." Like the like, fact like that we, we talk, we're about doing it right, right now, now. and we didn't want to, <laughs> didn't want to. Okay, but next, we're doing it, but 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 but, but see, we almost have to. Because he's he's doing things. It's like just when you decided, like, okay, I'm absolutely not talking about him. I'm not going to give him any, any any energy. I don't want to pay this man, you know, any uh, mind. He does something that you can't avoid discussing. Like, wait, what the like? Because what in the, the poopity scoop did this <laughs> motherfucker do? Right, because it, in the in the we ignore him. Next thing you know, he's sitting in a room with somebody like Donald Trump, co-signing his bullshit. Anka Rocker, no relation. Look here, Kanye. When I saw you in that Oval Office with the greatest president anybody has ever seen, when I saw you hug him, bow down to him. 
tell him what a great white father figure he's been to you and how his MAGA hats gave you superhuman strength. I thought, man, there is a colored guy that I can finally respect. Bravo, Negro. Bravo for stepping and fetching and making America great again. Good colored. Shit. My issue is that, you know, as a rule of thumb, like the power structure don't use nothing that's not useful. Bottom line. So if Kanye wasn't useful to something that they're doing, he wouldn't have the access. But first to of all, they're giving fake news talking about my my base with black males went from like eleven percent to twenty two percent. Yeah, with, I'm about to say Kanye, that's some bullshit. Like that's some now that's fake news. Wow. Like who the fuck? What niggas you know start fucking with Trump because this nigga Kanye put on a motherfucking MAGA hat? Right. I don't please know, fuck. I don't know about because of Kanye, but I was surprisingly alarmed at how many brothers actually voted for Trump. It was like they'll take trump over hillary i'm like if you really feel that strongly about it just please don't vote at all just don't give him the vote how many brothers did vote for trump what do you uh, um just, did, did, niggas vote see <laughs> niggas vote uh, yeah that's what i'm saying an alarming al it's different kind okay, of niggas in okay the world. well i'll say I, I will say this them is the ones that listen to eminem a couple of a couple of them was foreign yeah one of them do uh listen to eminem actually. i know he, I, I know well, he does i'm about to say i know he does foreign. probably his favorite rapper <laughs> But, but they still niggas. They're not real niggas. No, no, for real. No, real niggas. No, no, for real. Real niggas don't vote for, for Trump, nor do they listen they, to no, Eminem. No, because they think, because they, no, they think, because Trump get money. And yes, real niggas do listen no, to Where's your nigga counter, nigga? What's Stop. going on? Huh? No, they don't. Oh, it's just out the window. You way. know what it is? I'm sick today. I don't even have my wits so about me. So she don't me. give a flying I'm, fuck. I'm, I'm over here. It's not tissue blowing my Damn, nose. We, we didn't do the timer. Spitting every... uh. Twenty seconds and yo, oh. I was actually surprised how many uh, black men voted for Trump because he got bread. He got that bread <laughs> like that. One person just straight up said he got that bread. Well, maybe they didn't vote, but they were Team Trump because quote unquote he got that bread. Well, think about how many rappers used to name drop Trump before all of this happened. I tight like hip hop get, get loose like that Trump bitch Ivana. T uh. Hip hop tight. was Hello? on Trump's dick, if you really think about it, before all of this shit happened. Guess who's the black Trump? Like, like Trump's name, I, I wonder, that, that would be a case study. I don't know if it's out there, fact checker, of how many times Trump's name actually was referenced in hip hop prior to all of this. Uh, quite a few. Quite a few. I, I get money like Trump. You said Trump's name? I get loot like that Trump bitch Ivana. Now, wow. we we'll be writing rhymes all night. Wow. I reference, I reference the, the wife, yeah. but yeah, same the, shit. The Trump bitch. <laughs> she was part of the jokes too. Sound like a punk bitch, Trump bitch. <laughs> yeah, Trump bitch. Well, in, in the words of Dave Chappelle, they part of the jokes too. They just don't like they cut. Well... Well, speaking of all of this, that you're surprised about how many black men voted number, for, for Trump. The Is there a, yeah, a number? Sure. So tell me the, the number that's out there that they say Trump's name was name dropped in in rap music prior to him becoming president. Okay, let me just preface it by saying this is not deep research. Right. This, this is a cursory is glance at Wikipedia. Also Wikipedia, go ahead. YouTube chatters. Donald Trump in music refers to songs, albums, bands, and performances that refer to Donald Trump and his various brands, including Trump Tower, his TV show, and hotel chain. Mm. Though recent songs refer to Word, Trump, I stayed up at the Trump, up in the Trump, go ahead. Though recent songs refer to Trump's campaign and subsequent election as president of the United States, more than 200 songs refer to Trump prior to his successful presidential campaign. Wow. 200 songs. That sounds about right. Including Rod Digger's first including, single. Including damn. Rod Digger's first single. Bad Digger. The wife. <laughs> but it wasn't still, him, it, it was, was the wife. cachet it was, it was his money. of the family and the name. Because Ivanka wasn't enough. You had to say that Trump bitch. Oh. Because if you would have just said Ivanka, hmm, maybe. Maybe we know who it she's talking like about. It looked like that Trump bitch. I called her a bitch. 
<laughs> I and, and, that's, and that's why you get a you get a pass. That's why I get a pass. <laughs> so listen, I want to talk about these midterm elections, okay? Oh, please do. Because you know, as one that'll sit here and and look you dead in your face and say, I don't really fuck with politics like that, like like especially presidential politics. The only time I ever voted was that first Obama election. Yeah, they got me. Um, Good for you. But I do feel like, and especially after going to this uh, Congressional Black Caucus and seeing so how some of this stuff really works, mm -hmm. it's definitely these elections, the ones that deal with more of localized elections, these are the ones that actually affect your everyday life yeah Yo, can i can i tell you how pissed i was after obama got in office and when the midterm elections came up and he was even campaigning it too he's like guys y'all gonna be mad if the stuff i talked about doesn't happen you have to vote midterm 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 i'm tweeting it putting it all my social media like seriously these are the elections that matter i believe they may have even had the lowest turnout because everybody just oh my yeah, president yeah. is black you know so what happened was that's when the house became majority republican um we still had the senate but by a shit hair like maybe two two senators away from losing senate but at that point we had lost congress well see especially elections that's dealing with like councilmen and and you know senators and you know, mm -hmm. just just localized where they ain't got no electoral college and all this bullshit. Mm -hmm. Although they do have things. Harold was mentioning gerrymandering, which is a uh, a way to rig these crunch local the elections. Yeah, crunch the numbers and act like, you know, draw certain lines and act like this demographic has more uh, people than this demographic when really it doesn't. And it's just a way to, to just fuck the system. I have an interesting fact about a gerrymander you'll love. Well, well go ahead. <clears throat> Drop it. Now, on that gerrymandering issue, it's really controversial. The prisons upstate, like the prison industrial complex, they got caught counting the inmates as citizens for the oh oh state. oh no they do that all the time mm. they do that all the time that's why prisons in in especially these small little towns upstate new york and all that that's the why they're welcome with welcome arms right. With open arms, because the economy depends on it. Their con yeah, they get extra that. money. They get voting, uh, like you said, with the gerrymandering. They get, you know, more voting power and all this fucking bullshit. Counting inmates as citizens. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. Welcome to America. Um, but listen, as as negative as all of that type of shit is. I still would say if you are registered to vote and you haven't missed your deadline in your area, I know I think it's over now in New York and all of that for the, uh, your deadline to register. Um, but if you're registered, go out there. Like, like this yeah, isn't so much about, real. you know, because people are so personality right. driven, you know, and that's kind of why Obama won too. He had a great personality, mm -hmm. you know, um, not that he was the greatest president, but he was the most classy, charismatic, charismatic president. <laughs> and, and we and we just wanted that, you know, we just wanted that landmark in history. Like I, I can say in my lifetime, I lived to see a black president. Right. Something that, which is funny because in same album, Dirty Harriet, I say something in my intro song, Harriet Thugman, and when I said it, it seemed so unrealistic and unimaginable. But I said. Black, um, a land good and fruitful. We live as free people. Black presidents and all the weed legal. Mm. When I said Yo. it, <laughs> when I said it, it didn't sound. It, it, it was it was a dream. It was a fantasy. It, it was my yeah, yeah, it was yeah. my it was my utopia. Like never in my life did I think I would see that. Well, here's the thing: words have power, mm. and we speak 
our existence. We speak our reality into existence. You understand what I'm saying? And we are all co-creators of this reality. So if you speak something to existence and to get enough people to buy into that, well, guess what can really happen? And it can- that was the intro of Dirty Harry and Harriet Thugman, by the way. Cop that at any iTunes, preferably my band camp anywhere. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, it, it's like you could have, who knows? You could have spoke. We, we might have Obama and legalized weed. We might have Rod Digger to thank for that. How about that? How crazy Because you that? planted the seed. And that was just the year 2000. Wow. And only, you know. 18 years later. Look at that. Y'all can thank me later. You're oh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, nigga. Word. Well, um, so yeah, like I said, go out and vote. Please. Um, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. We will be back. <laughs> we'll be back, right? You know what I mean? God, cat. Stay tuned. Peace. 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 It's the absence of all confusion. United we stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together, the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T-shirts. Snapbacks. Available at hoodchee.com. Get yours today. Peace. Welcome back to United Me and Godcast. I'm Lord Jamal. I'm Digga Digga. Uh, we got Fact Checker Rage in the house. Yes, sir. Alex on the board. What's going on? My man Harold behind the camera. Yep. Um. So, yeah. What's good? We back. I'm chilling, man. Is it me or is it <laughs> getting hot in here? Yo, I don't know why, but by the third segment, every time Yo. we get to the third segment, it start getting hot in this motherfucker. I thought I was over here having like hot flashes. I'm looking around like, is it me? Is it what's that? I mean, you know that you know they say women in their like forties uh start going through some other type of um just a true <laughs> you know, menopausal our, our, yeah. But it's not just menopausal. Also, it's supposed to be our sexual peak. Like we, like oh. yeah, like our. We, oh. I, wait, no, no I'm, let's talk about it. I'm, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 before, no, no, no. Wait, before this conversation goes left, I'm trying to be fucking scientific. Okay, okay. and I'm listening. <laughs> That's why I'm perking up. I'm perking up my ears. I'm, I'm making sure I'm, I'm getting up. information correctly. <laughs> making sure the knowledge is born <laughs> properly. You, you need all that knowledge and wisdom so you can I be understanding. I'm just about to speak. I'm, I'm doing the knowledge. Oh, and shit, And you were saying, man. so, um, about your sexual peaks? Well, <laughs> I was just observing how hot it just got in this room. But nobody else looked bothered, so I didn't know if it was just me. So, well, see, in my head, I was going through things. It could be the sexual tension that exists between you and Rage. I plead the film. Um, <laughs> hey, um, I just thought of something. You have not flirted. You are being too goddamn polite this uh-oh. show. Plead the filth. Uh oh. Plead the filth. I'm, I saying. need some raunch. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go. When you ready, man? I'm a Tobago boy. You know how it work. Well, Island food. This is actually a good lead-in because we actually have a new sponsor here on the Godcast. I gotta hear okay. this. Okay. And. Well, first of all, let's talk about sex, y'all. Okay. I mean good sex. Now, before we do this, I do have your consent to talk about sex, yes? Like, you're not going to me to me at some point. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, we were working together, and he made me feel very uncomfortable. He started talking about, um, you know, sexual enhancement pills in front of me. Well, I did not feel comfortable. Let mm. me just make this disclaimer. Jamar talking about sex is probably the bottom of the totem pole <laughs> of uncomfortable conversations <laughs> so wow. you are clear brother good <laughs> Proceed. i just needed that on camera uh so yeah well listen guys okay now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed listen up <laughs> okay i'm sorry bluechew.com <laughs> why are you laughing no nah, no i'm so, uh, that's what i said let me get serious bluechew.com girl Okay. It's blue. 
as in the color blue. Okay. okay. Jay-Z blue. Now, BlueChew.com brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Oh, okay. So you know they work. Okay. Okay. They don't give you them headaches like them corner store uh, bullshit that you find in the hood. Boost pills. Yeah, all that samurai and all that bullshit, that type of shit. I wouldn't know about it. No good. Not for me. Is there some shit called like Lion Tiger or something? Tiger Bone. Tiger Bone. Tiger Bone. She said Lion Tiger. (laughs) (laughs) Lion Tiger Bone. Yeah. (laughs) So, 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 anyway, this is knocking Tiger Bone out the box. Okay. Anyway, so, first of all, you could take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And since they're chewable, they work twice as fast as a pill. So you could be ready and rise to the occasion. If you get my drift. Um, wow. Now, my man, my man Just, who is like a dude that sells advertising for me, he actually uses this. Okay? I haven't tried he it. He putting yet. Just on blast. Listen. Just said I could put him on blast okay. because okay. he is a Shouts firm believer. Now, I'm I'm about to get me some. I don't know if I'm gonna try it yet, <laughs> but he's sending me some. What flavors they come? <laughs> he's in? so sincere, y'all. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's okay. not flavors. It's, it's just, um, it's it's different kinds and there's different subscriptions and all that. When you go to the website, um. There's basically two different formulas. One is a formula that has the active ingredients that's in Viagra, and another is a formula that has the active ingredient in sight, Cialis. I wonder if it enhances okay. your flirting. Can it enhance your flirting? Cause... Well, you definitely can use that, bro, because, yeah, you got to. striking out. You, you know, you got to shoot your shot with more confidence, and Blue Chew can help you do that. Now, so, whatever. My man uh, just said, Longer sex, uh, more times, better, more intense. Okay. That that's what this shit helps you do. Now, Blue Chew is prescribed online and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package, so nobody got to know, um, and you ain't got to have no in-person doctor visit. You know, there's no waiting in the pharmacy, and best of all, no more awkwardness. Hmm. Um, is, is yeah, it, I'm here for my. Uh, it, is it Dick F- hard pills? <laughs> is it FDA approved? Of of course it is. Um, okay. uh, Blue Chew, uh, let's see, they made in the USA, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy. Right oh. now, we've got a special, okay, special deal for our listeners. If you visit BlueChew.com and get your first ship, you get your first shipment free when you use the special promo code HUSTLE, okay, H U S. S T L E. Okay. For y'all that, you know, sometimes you, you got these hood spellers and shit that'll <laughs> spell some shits so all kinds of fucking way. Hustle is the promo code. Mm. And all you got to do is pay $5 shipping. And so basically you get you a bottle of some blue chew for $5. Um, okay, blue chew. <clears throat> then you send a video of your performance to Rod Dick. What's your email? <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> listen. Let me I, share I, I, I still gotta get through demos for days. Uh, email. Oh shit! I, shit, I don't shit, need any. Shit. I don't need any blue chew. Any applicants. sexual? <laughs> I just sent you a deluge of penises. So, so, so you know, oh you know, wow, uh, that's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish this. <laughs> so again, that's b l u e chew dot com promo code hustle to try it free. Blue chew is better, cheaper, faster choice. And we thank them for sponsoring. Well, thank you for sponsoring. The You're Not yes. a Mean God cast. Yes, we appreciate you. So go get you some blue chew and go knock something down and tell us about it. You know what's what's interesting is I'm I'm noticing a lot of uh females, you know, my age group, my demographic are complaining about their partners. Like so this is like the age where like the once you hit the 40s like now the men are all fucked out. Now they want to get married. They've been engaged for 17 years. Now they want to, you know, well, well now they want to well, make the next move. What is a woman move. looking for a man and it like and, like And now the woman like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm feeling things I ain't felt before. You're not keeping up." And that this is happening. Let me tell you. This okay, is here's a lot. the difference when you're I'm younger. Probably getting somebody in trouble right now. And older. There's there's pros and cons to everything. So, when you're younger, 
you probably could bust like 10 nuts a day, every day, if you want to, <laughs> okay? But they're not quality nuts. Like, definitely the first one is not going to be a quality <laughs> You know what I mean? Like Look at that pervert squirrel just watching. Like, like, it's going to be a fast. The first one just bing, bing, oh, bing, come ricochet, on. Like, rabbit. Listen. Bing, 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 ricochet, rabbit. Right. Listen, that was the might, plan is commercial quality listen, nuts. You be busting off in the club so fast. <laughs> you think you shine as somebody in this motherfucker. But anyway. Um, in the club or the dance floor? Shooting niggas, up the club. Niggas that's is what, nothing in the dance that's floor. That's what they call shooting up the club. That's what they call shooting <laughs> up the club. You know shooting up the club. Oh my God, I never knew that. <laughs> shooting up the club. Yeah, no, I've heard it. I didn't know. I mean. Like when a girl got a lot of kids and shit and they could be like, damn, they shot her club up. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, okay, wait. All right. No, no, no. Okay, so I get it. I get it. You, you, I get that. That's what so they I'm meant. So I'm shooting up the club like shine. I, I thought I'm you. I, I thought you meant like niggas like wasn't able to control themselves like Look in, at him. in the club. I, I oh well, that's true too. I'm that, saying when you're younger, no, meant. you can't. Yeah, and you start shooting up the club. I'm just saying like when you're younger. But I know that just you mean, don't have the same kind right. of control. Yeah, and and you know you don't have the same kind of control. But you could do it a lot of times. Right. Every day, almost like. Mm -hmm. Every day, if you want to, like mm -hmm. once I <laughs> once I discovered fucking oh my goodness, I was kind of late. <sighs> I was damn near twenty. Listen, <laughs> this is what fucked me up. I'm cutting school boy, right? now every day. I'm going home. Like, come on, let's go to the crib. Mm -hmm. I live right down the block from school too. Let's see, school or go home and DJ and fuck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go home and DJ and fuck. That sound better. But anyway. But when you get older, it's like you got more control, but you're not doing no 10 times a day. Uh-uh, 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 mm. nah. Three is maybe, three nuts in, a, in one session is a, is a lot when you get older. What? And then you're not going, don't, don't be coming at a nigga the next day or nothing like that either. Now you need time to replenish the yam sauce. You know what I mean? Like the yam factory needs replenishment See, because. And it's now, and it's reversing for women. Now the women are on go, 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 go. And mm. he, baby, I'm tired. I, and, and he want to watch power. She like, <laughs> nigga. As a woman, do you, do you look for quality or quantity? Like. Somebody At quality, absolutely. Mm. So, so three minute quality versus ten minutes. Eh. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you wait, mean three wait. minutes? See, that's I'm not like, quality. Three minutes. I'm about to say three minutes ain't. That's not quality. Yeah. That's I can't even put that. But that in the could be young category. boy shit. Like a, a young nigga could give you three, three strong minutes. minutes. Like for the first nut. <clears throat> You see, a lot of times the the, the, the young it nigga depends. be like, like the first a... one was for me. <laughs> okay, I had to get that out of the way. Especially he all excited and you've been right. making him wait a long time and you all fine and shit. No, nope. he gonna get okay, out. I, he might not even let you I, know I, he nutted. I tell you what, three minutes is three minutes could niggas be quality. Don't... Like doing some like some sneak shit outside or something like the, the I'm about oh. to get caught. Like ah! uh, okay. okay. Yeah. That was fun. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Yeah, that's the only kind. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, quality. That's quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I'm gonna tear you up in the comments. God, don't tear me. No, up. no, 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 no. <laughs> they're oh. gonna, they're gonna talk about tearing her up in the comments. That's what they're gonna do. to Y'all some nasty. Whatever I was in the smelling comments. like last week, <laughs> add a honey bun on top. Oh my god. <laughs> It said recording is set to stop in five oh, yeah. minutes. Yeah, Extending extend recording. Okay. Okay. Do we have anything? Um, do we have anything substantial or serious to discuss? Oh wait, has anybody saw? Did anybody see the? Um, damn, I almost knocked the damn. <laughs> did anybody see? Um, been keeping up with the uh, uh, Drake did an interview with. Um, I didn't see the whole. I interview, saw a little piece that? of it where was he was trying to explain. This whole why he didn't respond, Kanye, and yes. he said something about you know the the homie Pusha T need to get punched in his face for talking about forty and the fact that the boy got some sort of sickness. Is that right. it? What's wrong with the boy forty um, anyway? It's multiple sclerosis, I think. Okay, so he has MS, and and I guess uh, Pusha T took a shot at him. Um, yeah, in in the in the story of Adidon, okay. he's like six 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 tick tick tick. Like there's there's some lines, but he's oh. he's actually talking about he's saying look he's he was like forty looking like he about to die over there, 
but but okay. that's because of the multiple sclerosis. Well, all I heard is, is Drake was like, nah, so he 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 gonna need to get punched in his face or something. Well, for that. It, it it wasn't that brawlic. You you're making. I know. Him, I, I was saying you making him sound that's way only, too well, brawlic. I that's I, how I'm saying it. No, I know. Yeah, he did say it in a way that I can't say it as soft as he said it. So. <laughs> That's all I'm like. You giving Drake some I'm other, saying, yeah. other like you, you saying it. Out of, you saying it sound like wait, fighting hang words. Right, hang on, let me try to say it like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> um, because you know, <laughs> I don't ever want to be that guy. Like, 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 <laughs> and I mean, like, you know, saying stuff like that. Like, you know, you can kind of, you can get punched in your face for that. Yeah, that that, 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 that was that was actually closer. Okay. Yeah, because you you can get punched in your face for that. That that was well, okay. minus the the neck roll and stuff. Yeah, that was that was, that was actually closer to Drake's voice. I, okay, Drake's my baby though. Shut up, so, Drake's and, your baby. He is no push pushes pushes my guy, but I mean I'm a little it's a, Kiki. It's Drake. All women love Drake. All women love Drake. Today? I'm still a girl. <laughs> Wait, so do you think Drake is cute? No. Well, mm, would you? No. I I. No, he's somebody that I would want to like be my friend. Like, oh. let's go to the spa together. Not like, ooh, I would knock him down. You're not gonna pull out he's a bottle of Blue Chew for the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, no, he not chew on these. No, <laughs> no, Drake, I would definitely want to go on a play date with, like shopping spree. Ooh, let's go, you know, let's go get massages. Come on, bestie. See, he- that's almost like you're saying that he's gay. Yeah, like, no. like that. Yo, whoa, 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 that's, Freudian. that's that- some shit that yeah. like. You'd say to a gay bestie. Like, you don't say that to a real nigga. You see what I'm saying? Oh, Stop putting words in Look, my no, mouth. No, 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 no. Keep it real. You don't say that to a real nigga. Yo, come on. Let's go shopping. Like, come on. You think you can say that to me? <laughs> you think you can say that to me? And I'm going to be like, come on, let's go. Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> like, I don't even think you that would even come into your mind. But to him, you would want to go on a play date. But, you, but you're not seeing the correlation no, between gayness it's, 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 or softness? No. You're not no. seeing that? I mean, no, he does. He, do, he, he definitely, he gives me soft. Like, soft doesn't always resonate as gay to me. Like, there are some men that are just... Not alpha with it, but that doesn't necessarily. You just wanted to go shopping with a nigga. And go to the spa. You was going to take this nigga to Victoria's <laughs> Secret. No, I didn't say. <laughs> no, we weren't going to Victoria's <laughs> Secret. Okay, yes, y'all was. No, we wasn't. Yeah, well, are there, yes, are there pedicures in this, in this outing? Are there pedicures? I'm, 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 no? We're not going to get manis and petties <laughs> okay. anymore, no. Hold up. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a man getting a pedicure. I'm just saying. <laughs> with a girl who came from the spa and shopping. Huh? With a, in the context look, she was Well, if, saying, that's, if you were doing it with your girl, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but after the spa. Now, yeah, I don't you, agree I, with the manicures, though. No, yeah. you. I think you can do. You can do and it. don't be getting no polish on your shit. No. You can do. You can but do, keep your feet. Dude. Don't have them all rough. I, yeah. I, 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 like I, my that. shits was bad for a long time. Like I got, I got my first pedicure. I want to say, but like, you, but you can probably only go with your wife, right? Like you can't, like we can't go get petties together. Nah, nah. <laughs> but I would weird. go by myself. Okay, yeah. I'd okay. go by myself. I'm yeah, just, acceptable. Actually, the first time I did, I think I was with my daughter. And you can do that too. Yeah, you can do that too, because Daddy. You can you can have Daddy yeah, daughter day. Yeah, 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 shit like that. She gonna talk about all you. Yeah. You drop the the boyfriend jewels to a white. I get y'all feet done. Nah, that's that's fly shit. And it's almost some funny shit to see like mm-hmm. a, that's, that's fly a extra shit. masculine nigga sitting in that's the, fly shit <laughs> in, the, in the with his fucking yeah, pants rolled up and shaking his feet, <laughs> soaking and oh shit, this shit feel kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, and then they got that chair. Shit. Oh. Fuck. Ooh. <laughs> You'll be mad if somebody take a picture. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> so, somebody gonna come in and say, Jamal, let me get a picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll be and say, send my daughter out of here. Get her out of here. Does this come with a happy ending? <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, so let me finish the story. Okay. Because it so, is Asians, but anyway. So I digress. So, <laughs> so racist. <laughs> Let Go me, ahead. I'm sorry. I gotta pull up. My, Prostitution uh, happens in all uh, societies. Uh, tissue. So, oh damn! I, y'all just, I just revealed my height. Her snot. Ra- <laughs> Did you put your snot rag <laughs> outside my Yo. snot rag? 
<laughs> Did you use the merch Wait. as a snot rag shield? <laughs> They're going to want that particular one. Wait. To be like, oh my God, I want to buy that. I didn't mean, I didn't mean for the, I didn't mean for the people to see where it was hiding, but yeah, my bad. Sorry, it was wow. fall, it was falling out the chair. It kept falling wow. on the ground. I didn't want it to pick one across. <laughs> hey, uh, you got yourself a hat, digger. <laughs> you want a hat? You're snot. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, it was. Shit. I was just in Houston. It was 92 degrees in Houston, and now it's like 39 out here. So I'm, I'm. I'm all jacked up. But, oh, so back to the story. Um, so that happened and then sparked the whole conversation of, uh, you know, what are supposed to be <coughs> the rules of engagement in battle rapping? What's fair and unfair? Like, is it unfair to talk about one of your homies sick or, your, you know, your mom, your family, whoever? There are some people on the side of the fence like, oh, it's wrong. And, uh, you know, it could lead to violence. We need let, we need more unity in hip hop. There's some people like, fuck that shit. So Anything goes in battle. I'm actually one of those people. So, wow. I mean, hey, Tupac got Ooh, on so ugly. Prodigy for the for the um, sickle, cell. sickle cell. I actually saw him. Uh, I, he actually mentioned that in an article. I think they somebody. I saw him. I read him his response to that in an article. He was like, "Yo, that's fucked up. Like, I really could die from that shit. I can't believe Nick said that shit." Yeah, I mean, but it sets a precedent, I guess, of a lot of shit is fair game. I guess you know. So is now Drake trying to redraw the lines? of you know what's touchable and what's not I think, like i think certain shit sh actually shouldn't be touched like maybe people's kids like shit like that i'm opting out of it because it seemed like drake has got a little more power because jay prince is behind you know what i mean Jay Prince, but he, but everything with the oh, I, I could have killed you, but yeah, I ain't on. gonna drop it. Like That's to Jay me, Prince, all man. to me, all of that is is like, you know, I mean, it's not to say that you can't do that, but to me, it it, it constitutes an L. It's like when if you're if you're coming if you're coming up with reasons not to show up to the fight, it's like you can't, you know, you can't come to the shootout. With a knife fight, and be like, wait, wait, you can't, you can't shoot me because I only got a knife. Right. Like you're here now. Yeah. Do you remember having fights when you when you were young, right? And like y'all might start fighting, and then like somebody throws a kick. Yeah. Like, oh <laughs> wait. Oh, oh we yes. kicking now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, oh, we you kicking? play too much. No, 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 no. Not that uh, you play too uh, much. Mm -hmm. It's this is a real fight. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But oh, you like no. You talking okay, that's girl, girl shit. shit. What I'm saying is, y'all are squaring up. Right. Mm -hmm. Y'all think that y'all boxing. Oh, okay. This, this is type boys. of fighting. Okay. Y'all just punching. But then one nigga. I'm not even slap boxing. I'm saying y'all having a real fight. Y'all are super mad at each other, punching each other in the face, chest, and all that. But then one nigga throws a kick. Mm. Okay. And just fuck the whole thing. And now, the, you, now because in y'all mind, y'all thought the rules of engagement right. was just punching. Right. And so now when somebody throws a kick, oh, you want to kick people. Now the rest of the fight is everybody's mm. just kicking. Oh. Do y'all remember? Do y'all just throwing mad kicks, doing Bruce Lee shit, biting? Do y'all remember starting out fights? With, oh, they'll say with, that. Oh, you want to bite people? Yeah. With um, baddest man hit my hand. Like they didn't That's like funny. either one didn't want to hit first, so somebody would just stand in the middle and do this. Yeah, yes, yes. That's talking about. Okay, so say two little kids are getting ready to fight, right? Neither one of them wants to be. They may be too scared to throw the first punch. So there's somebody in the middle, and then you say baddest man hit my hand. So whoever, if this person hits, 
then that person will hit that person. So he just hits you. Hits you. Oh, and then that's how y'all start so, hitting so, each so other. So the instigator. Back, right? So look. Yeah, so so wait, wait, wait. I've never wait, seen let this. Me show I've you. never Hold seen up. this. Now this is how it progresses. So so this starts happening. Mm-hmm. And then eventually the instigator is getting hit so hard. They move exactly out right. of it. So now these two are hitting each other. Uh, 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 and then that's how the fight starts. I've never seen what? that. You ain't never seen that. Huh? Big time. Where, where I come so, from. Girls, so, this, so this the is the instigator be like, ooh, you gonna take that shit? Motherfucker. No, there was a whole motherfucker that signed up yeah. to, <laughs> to Yo, this. I never heard that in my it's life. Ba- it's, times. it's called it's Baddest Man Hit My Hand. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Absolutely. Mainly females though. I've always seen it with yeah. girls. I never that, seen that. that was, one yeah. fast ass girl. Wait, they didn't want to fight. Wait a minute. Baddest man hit my hand. She's yep. right in the middle. Yep. Wait, yep. that's not. Yep. Whap, whap, whap. Yep. Then she get out. Whoever hit the hand first, that person hit the person, and then eventually that person steps out the, the way. The girls I knew, they, they wanted to fight. Yep. They come to school fucking Clorox bleach. Well, that's them. Clorox bleach in the motherfucking bag. Fucking Vaseline. Yeah, oh, fucking. Oh the, no, no, no. They that's them bitches. They back. They no. took in their earrings out. Mm-hmm. These broads was warriors. No, they no. was ready. No, that's them bitches. But then you also had you also had the kids because it could be guys and girls. You had the kids that really didn't want to fight. It's yeah, like absolutely. their friends push you. Yeah. Fuck them like neither. Yeah. That's what I, that was the point. I still see that. Well, 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 neither see, one of them wanted to the throw the first punch. The ones that didn't want to fight, those usually would be the chest bumpers. You know those chest bumping motherfuckers where they yeah yeah I oh, dare word, you yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the fuck, go, hit me first right. you know it'd be a lot of chest bumping Look, but I never saw doing this <laughs> that's the chest <laughs> yeah. bumping no, no, they start they bumping mushing each other's chest they mushing each- and then eventually it turns uh-huh. they bumping yeah. chest with each other's chest so his chest oh, okay. is bumping his chest. Like what? What? Uh, how dare you hit me? You know, yeah, and it'd be yeah. like, nigga, y'all niggas don't want to fight. Y'all want to like, hug. Like, y'all want to yeah, hug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all might as well fucking dance with what the fuck y'all doing. Like, but I, like, we would almost get annoyed to the point, like, nigga, either y'all niggas fight or yeah. cut this bullshit yeah, out. Yeah, but yeah. no one ever said the, the shit you talking right. about. I never heard that's that. That's a seven year old. That was a seven That's that. That's like real elementary yeah, school shit. Seven-year-old. That's not like bigger kids. That's not even middle school. That's okay. like that's like straight elementary. But school. But in my experience, the one that didn't want to fight usually end up washing the other person up. What? <laughs> I've seen that a lot. I have what? seen that you know before. What I'm saying? You're like, oh, like yo, what? leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do it. I'm telling you, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Ah! All of a sudden, they start doing something. <laughs> Get that superhuman retarded strength. For real, man. Ah! Oh, not other niggas. You won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> so we're, we're, getting this, we're getting a signal to wrap things up. Um, okay. <laughs> so let me just finish uh, finish it off with this. Okay. So um, Pusha T had a response to that. What did he say? And his response was, he got his information about Adidon from 40. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, apparently, there was some pillow talking happening between 40 and another female, and um, she's the one that exposed uh, this information to uh, to Pusha. Mm. So, now, 40's the white boy, right? Isn't he's a producer. the producer. Yeah. Okay, so is Pusha T fucking the same girl as 40 is? <laughs> How'd he get this information? Oh. Is he fucking her too? I I can't confirm. And if he is. I can't confirm more than I. Why are we fucking the same girls that this balding white guy? I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to I'm say, just I saying. I don't know the um I don't Maybe I don't they're know just this. friends. Maybe they're just friends. Maybe I'm just assuming the wrong shit. Um that's I, interesting. I mean, though. I don't know. You know what happens with shit. So 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 so, you, so the you, blame you, you cut a chick off, you know, nothing worse than a So wait, chick. hang on. So yeah, so before no we leave, real quick. I'm just trying to get this straight. Drake was blaming Kanye for leaking it when really his own man is the one that leaked all this information. Well, that that's what Pusha is now saying. Ah, so curious to see. And this just broke. Um, this to the you know this physical day, not when you're seeing this. This physical day. So uh, now, what if that puts a crack in Drake's armor? That's, what if see, somehow I think there's going to be some serious repercussions to that because now how do Forty and Drake exactly and the magic that they've created together? What if somehow? If he stops working with this guy, this fucks his shit up somehow. Dre, I know the next session they have together, that, they're gonna be like, "Oh, word." Go ahead. You know, I I think there could be some uh, you know, some repercussions to that. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, my. <coughs> um, let's see anything else. B B T Hip Hop Awards. All right, welcome. Uh, anyway, and, and that concludes. <laughs> that concludes this week's show. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was nothing to talk about. Um, listen, we got another one in the can. We appreciate y'all. Um, supporting us. Subscribe. Uh, donate to the show, cash.me slash dollar sign, you know what I mean? Patreon, Patreon.com slash you know what I mean or you know what I mean dot com slash support. Go to hoodg.com to get you some, you know what I mean, merchandise, brand Nubian merchandise, rod digger merchandise. Yep. We got Sadat X merchandise. We got shit. We got Cassidy merchandise. We got shit up there, yo. Come on and check us out and come get you some. Uh, to all our people in the live stream, we're going to get this shit popping. Um, and yeah. We're going to figure this shit and dig we're out. We're going to figure this shit and dig out. Um, but until then, I'm Lord Jamal. I'm Digga Digga. Peace. Stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together is the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T shirts. Snapbacks. Available at hoodgee.com. Get yours today. Peace. Today is Sunday, October 28th. Making today's math. Wisdom build destroy, all being born in knowledge cipher, all being born in knowledge. Peace. Today is Sunday, October 28th, making today's math. Wisdom build destroy, all being born in knowledge cipher, all being born in knowledge.